Hey guys, Waterglue here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today, and we'd try painting the floor. So I've given a couple of squares a bit of a paint job, just because I've been having pretty bad glare in here. I'm hoping maybe if I paint the roof, uh, paint the ceilings black, it should hopefully drop the glare a little bit. And I painted those walls white, but I'm not sure of how I feel about them. I don't quite like it that much. Either way, though, I have a spray painter made up. And I have black dye made up, so we'll load that into it. Now, when you do come time for you to paint something and you're using a spray painter, what you want to do first is grab a paintbrush, hit it down on the item, so that way you can see what regions you want. So for me, personally, I need just region 1. The others aren't too big of a deal. So you want to load up the spray painter. Region 1's already enabled for this particular gun always, but if you do need to change it, what you want to do is hold down your right click and then press your number keys 1 through 6. So if I press 1, it disables it. If I press it again, it enables it. Basically, those are the regions that you want to paint. So if I spray the ground now, it paints it black. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and paint all these, and I'll be right back. And we're back guys, and so I had to break a few of the ceilings to get access to some of the pillars, but I've replaced them, so they're all good now. Um, it's currently night time and my lights are on, so the floor is still a little bit shiny, but it's a lot better than it was before, which is very nice. Um, I painted these walls white a little while back, but I don't really think it looks very nice color-wise. Um, let me know what's a good color to paint on wood. That doesn't look like crap, and we'll consider painting it that color. So, I was thinking, apart from painting the floor, we might start to move some of the dinosaurs out. I'll just gamma up for you guys, because it's a bit dark. There we go. That should be a little bit better. Um, I'm thinking maybe we start moving these guys into an actual spot where they can actually start having eggs, and I can keep track of them and stuff. So, we'll get on one of the birds. This guy will be good enough for now. Oh, that moon. Hmm, I'll gamma up one more time so you guys can see a bit better. There we go. So I'm not sure where I want to put the dinosaurs. I'm thinking maybe over here where that tree is. Or even over here where this rock is. I mean, there's a big piece of flat land here for some of the small dinosaurs, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. It's a hard one. Very hard. Whoa, that moon. <laughs> um. Alright. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm going to 
have a think about it. And I'll bring you guys back when I've finally decided which location to put all the dinosaurs in. Be right back. And we're back, guys. So I've decided to build over here on this flat land. I bring over a, I bring over grape ape to f just flatten it out, get rid of all the little trees and thatch and stuff like that. Now I'm looking at it, and one thing that's going to be really, really annoying is this. This annoying little rock. I wish there was some way to like completely flatten out land, but I mean, oh, well, at least this one's destroyable. I mean, that'll make it a little bit nicer in here. Oh, is that destroyable as well? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Damn it, if only this one was. Oh well, either way. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll do like a, a multi-floor sort of thing. So like if I float around real quick. We'll just make like a multi-floor sort of dealio. Maybe two or three floors high. Smallest dinosaurs on the top. Keep some bigger guys on the bottom. Um, as for the birds, they can sit on the absolute very top of it. That's no big deal. I don't shouldn't get any combat over here, so that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start building this up. And when I'm finished, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the final product. Um, I'm hoping it's turning out pretty good. But yeah, be right back. And we're back guys so I haven't quite finished building it yet it's actually an absolute massive job um, so I just thought I'd bring you back show you what I've done just to end the episode you know all right so I'll get up on the bird so I can show you the outside first so as you can see I built all the way along the ridge and goes along with that uh, this top area here is gonna be for birds so you should be able to just fly straight on in or walk in walk up the ramp. I'm going to park a whole bunch of birds up here. Um, don't think I'll park anything else. Then if we go head over here, on this left, oh sorry, on this right side, you have another medium dino gate which can fit most of your medium small dinosaurs in quite easily. So if we walk in, down here is going to be a generator for lights and stuff like that and I'm going to close that up. But yep, it's got plenty of space in here so you've got all these ramps. I've put Three staggers in there, one male, two females. Probably gonna put sarcos here and probably some trikes and whatnot. But yeah, um, this is what I've got so far. I think it's turning out quite nice, but yeah, as I said, it's just an absolute massive job. I'm gonna have to bring this ceiling across and then try to go down, I think, to and connect it to here. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do that. But this is what I've got so far, and I'm thinking it's looking pretty nice. Hopefully you guys reckon that too. If there's any suggestions for something that I should do here, let me know. And I'll definitely think about it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I've spent probably, I don't know, several days just gathering resources and building. It takes so long in this game. But that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time, guys.